Hello everybody. Uh, hopefully everybody's doing well. Uh, many of you are sending kids back to school. Um, regardless of the format, some of you are doing that uh, full-time regular school other than wearing a mask. Some of you, it sounds like, are um, uh, school districts have chosen to go completely virtual and then there are those schools that are somewhere in the middle doing a hybrid. Uh, my children personally go to Anderson High, um, or two of them do, and so they are uh, on campus starting today. So I hope whichever format that you guys are going with that you um, and your family, your children are getting their needs met um, if that's the situation that you're in that you have some kids. So uh, a few things I want to talk about today. I'll, I'll get into some longer details, um, but within the first couple of minutes, I'll get to the nuts and the bolts of what this announcement's about. Uh, so if you want to stay and watch the whole video uh, where I end up rambling, that's okay. But if you can stay tuned for just a minute or two, we will uh, have all the information that you need. So before I go into the announcement, I want to talk about um, uh, some, a couple of my core beliefs and some things that we have ran into. So one of the first things um, from my interaction with children over the last 20 something years, um, we're social creatures, we need social interaction. And I've heard that from a lot of parents that have been coming in. Um, the private lesson format we've been running, everybody's absolutely been loving that. Um, we've had great, great feedback and I really wanna give um, so much thanks to everybody who has been coming down and helping all the volunteer instructors um, they've done a fantastic job and uh, time and time again I hear back um, how much everybody's appreciated their lessons. Um, that being said, while the students are getting really good uh, instructions directly in for their set work and their testing, uh, a part of martial arts for many people is a socialization, being able to come in, interact with peers, uh, to be able to have a good time and have that uh, some sense of normalcy and interaction and have that, uh, especially for the kids, within an environment that is a uh, structured environment. So uh, the private lessons, a lot of instruction there, but they don't get that peer-to-peer -peer interaction. And even as adults, um, I've heard uh, from different people and for myself, I miss having a class. I miss getting to see uh, essentially my friends and whatnot out here and getting to train and have that interaction. Um, so that's one of my core beliefs is not only do we need social interaction, not only do we do we want it, we need it. it, it um, there's studies and things out there. Human beings, we don't do well in um, isolation. Um, that ties into as we're looking at going back to the schools. Some schools are open, some schools are closed, some schools are somewhere in the middle. Even the schools that are open are discussing closing again, um, or, or likely Anderson High School as an example. Uh, they're fully open, but the uh, principal at a, a meeting said they fully expect to shut down and go to virtual learning. Um, uh, under a, a, a series of situations. He said it's not if, it's when that happens. So that leads me to believe that that need is not gonna be met, at least for our children um, at school. Us adults have some other options, but even there, those things are restricted. So that, that's my first big belief that I'm building off of is that um, we need, as humans, we need social interaction and, and that uh, just like water or oxygen or anything else is something that we have to have and when that's removed from us, it's actually, it's an unhealthy situation. Um, uh, it's not like I didn't get a new toy. It's something that, that my body and my mind needs to continue to be healthy. Uh, my second core belief, so the first one is that we need social interaction. Second one is that we're Americans. Um, we, for most of us, have an ingrained uh, desire to, uh, to do what we want to do. That's built into our constitution. It's built into our, our way of thinking. And those of us as Americans, it, it's part of our DNA, is that um, we're independent. Uh, we're, and we're, we want to be able to do the things that we need to do. And outside of um, some very, very drastic situation, um, that that's something that we need to do. So those, those two core beliefs that we need social interaction and that we need freedom, I have to look at a school and so this is a, a big form of socialization for a lot of people. And um, what we've done, if you happen to be watching this and you've not been around, is we've been offering a private lesson to every student um, in lieu of the normal group classes. Like I said before, it's great training. The instructors have all done a fantastic job and that will continue. Okay, that's, we're not, that's not going away, that will continue. But we were also, um, we, we need to get back to group lessons. Um, but I don't wanna fully jump from where we are 
strictly private lessons to full blown group classes. I'm as a business owner, I'm just not comfortable doing that. But I also don't want to stay where we're at. We need to make some steps forward. So the core of this is starting next week on Monday the 17th, we are going to begin to offer group classes again. Um, we're going to offer group classes and we're going to offer the one on one lessons. Each family or student uh, will need to choose uh, or parents choose for them if it's a minor whether you want to have a, a group lesson interaction or whether you want to have a private lesson. Um, the private lessons will continue to exist just like they are. If however you uh, for yourself or for your loved one you want to see them in a group class um, we're going to have that available. Now there's, there's some caveats to that. Um, with the COVID stuff there is a, a you know more people around there is more of a risk of uh, contracting it and whatnot um, so each person being Americans will have to make the choice of how much risk you're willing to accept everybody that's been doing the private lessons and not living at home or staying in a cave um, have, have shown that they're willing to accept a certain amount of risk for a certain amount of interaction so we're going to offer another level to that and that'll be group lessons um, so I want to talk about a little bit about what those are going to look like and I believe that we should all be allowed to make informed decisions. So my job today is to um, give you as much information as I can so you understand what to expect when you go in so you can make an informed decision as to what you want and how much risk you're willing to accept for that. Um, and again, both options will be available. So what our group lessons are going to look like is we are we'll have one youth group and one adult group. Um, when we, those of you that were here pre-COVID uh, know that we had a whole bunch of, it was really divided down by rank and, and size and whatnot. Uh, we will go back to that eventually, but that's not where we are now. We're gonna have one youth cla class and one adult class. So the youth class is gonna be seven to 12 year olds. Um, a, a large mature six year old might be able to slip in there and do okay. Um, a smaller, uh, 13 year old that still more needs to be in the youth class can still potentially be in the youth. Uh, for the adults, we're talking for uh, teens and adults um, of all ranks. Same thing for the youth class, we're not, we're not subdividing by rank or anything there um, at this time. Uh, we will continue uh, as time goes to build back to our normal schedule where we have all the sub, sub breakdowns, but for right now it's just that. So group classes will begin on Monday, the 17th, that's next Monday. Um, and those classes already appear, appear. Most of you guys are using the app to register and uh, you can see that those classes show up. Now, I, I wanna talk to you about what those group classes are gonna look like, what the strengths are to them, um, some, what you can get out of them, what would be better maybe about doing private lessons and um, also a little bit about what risk and the fact that if you choose to come in, you, you, you're accepting that on you. Okay, so first of all, group lessons. When you come in, one of the largest things that we are gonna get from that is gonna be the social interaction and there's that, that component, uh, whether it's for yourself, or whether that's for the kids, that's gonna have them being able to actually interact and have a normal, so for children, a normal child interaction with, uh, with their peers. Uh, for the adults to be able to come in, see your friends and cross train um, and be able to do some things like that. Also with the group lessons, um, there's gonna be a lesson that is taught like a normal class that's for everybody and the students will get the opportunity to work with various other classmates, not just the instructors, and get a chance to really work on those skills um, with the longer class time because these are gonna be full length classes. Um, they'll have the full warm up routine, stretching routine, all of those things that are really, really good and uh, um, has a lot of health benefits to it and a lot of good interaction with the peers. Um, so when they come into that class, here's some things you need to understand. The instructors, whoever is uh, as acting as the instructor for that class, typically it'll be me, but some of the others will probably help. Uh, we're gonna mask up, so we'll wear masks. Anyone else coming into the building will have the option to wear their mask or not, okay? That, that's period. Um, if you want to wear a mask, you're more than welcome to wear one. If you do not wanna wear a mask, then um, we, won't, we won't insist that you do. However, you need to be in good health when you come in. So if you come in, if you're coughing, uh, we'll be doing a health check, any of those things, you won't, you won't be allowed to come in. Um, if you come in and you choose to wear a mask, that's not a problem, but you will not be able to say, hey, I'm only gonna work with somebody that has a mask on because it's a whole class acting uh, as a group. And um, so if you're comfortable with that, 
comfortable with working with whoever that you're worked up, uh, paired up with, then the group class is, is going to be for you. It's going to be something that you're going to want to do. Um, on the other hand, I, in our school, I don't expect this to be an issue. Um, if you are training with a partner who has a mask and you think that wearing a mask is silly, there there's not going to be any type of shaming or anything like that for somebody who chooses to or chooses not to wear a mask. That's going to be left as an individual uh, choice um, for that. So those are a lot of the strengths, and that's kind of what's going to go on. There's not we're taking up to 25 people in the class and to start. Um, you were not, you're not going to come in and see people spread out one person every six feet. If you're coming, choosing to come into this class, you are making the choice that it is worthwhile to you to have this group experience and you, you consider that to be more valuable than, um, you know, the added safety you might have of continuing some type of social distancing and masking and all those type of things. So it's a personal choice for each of you guys to make. Um, and, and then that group interaction is really the biggest thing. And then there's just some different ways of learning when you are in a group. Um, so uh, th that's, th that's the group lesson in a nutshell. The guys who are here pre-COVID, it's gonna look just like you did before, except for the instructors will have a mask on and some students might choose to wear a mask. Um, when you arrive, you won't just come walking in. We're gonna do a, a scan on your forehead. Uh, we'll ask you, hey, uh, are you feeling sick? If there's any, if you have a temperature, or if uh, uh, any signs of illness or anything like that, uh, you're gonna be excused right away. Also, if you come out on the mat and you, you start coughing or whatnot, uh, if you have allergies, take allergy meds or whatever you need to do. Um, but anybody that is coughing, regardless of reason, because I, I can't say that why, um, it'll be, hey, you know, you go off to the side, we'll give you a chance, get some water, but if it continues, you'll be excused. Um, so those are the strengths of the group lessons. Now, the strength of the private lessons is you're having one instructor one student and they're focused very, very specifically on your specific skills for your next test, um, your specific uh, areas of information that you're looking for uh, to gain and what it's gonna take to help you progress in your martial arts goals. Um, and then there's also a lot of flexibility and scheduling with the private lessons. Um, so that that's kind of though the, the balance that you have to choose from between group and private lessons. So what we're going to be starting with is you can either choose to do the group lesson or you can choose to have a private lesson each week. Um, we have two slots in. We have Mondays and Thursdays. Um, I, I ask for your patience. I'm still trying to work through the logistics on this. My plan was originally to start uh, this week, uh, but we uh, do this. Some of the stuff was a governor and whatnot. I got a little gun shy and I backed off, but I, I really feel that for our students, this is something that needs to happen, especially as I'm seeing the possibility that our kids were in uh, five, six months since they've had um, peer interactions and with the possibility of them losing that again uh, for this year, maybe all the way till December. Um, this is something that we can help people with here and that I'm comfortable with. So, um, like I said, you can use the app. You can reserve your time on there. If you want to do the group lessons, make sure you get uh, your time reserved. But do understand, and, this, and I can't emphasize this enough, that you are making a personal choice that you're willing to accept the increased risk of maybe contracting COVID or, or anything else. You know, it's um, when you walk outside your door, you probably quadruple your risk of getting ran over, you know. So you're accepting the risk that, or the increased risk that you might contract something that's contagious. And when you're around more people, that's, uh, unavoidable um, by coming into group lessons. If you're not comfortable with that, please stay with the private lessons. Also, we have a few students who have, um, oh, I'm not a doctor, but they call them comorbid um, disorders or other problems. So, um, to list some of the diabetes, uh, you've had heart surgery, you've had uh, immune, uh, uh, compromised immune system, you have problems with your lungs. Uh, something like that. If there's a significant issue or worry with that, stay with the private lessons. I really, really encourage you to stay with the private lessons if, if you're in that higher risk category. We'll have both options available for you. Um, so that's the majority of the information. So as a quick review, we will be getting, we will be starting to have group lessons next week. Um, youth classes will be seven to 12 year olds, maybe 13, uh, depending on age readiness, and then we'll have the teens and the adults thereafter. By choosing to come into this class, you're accepting the increased uh, risk of maybe contracting COVID or, or anything else. You know, it, it, it's just part of being around other people. 
at the same time, there will still be private lessons available. And you as a student or as a parent of a student will get to make that decision of whether you want to do private lessons or whether you want to do group lessons. Um, right now, there's two lessons a week on the books. Um, we're going to look and see how many people are really coming in, um, how, how much is that being utilized. Um, as time goes, if, they're, if those classes are, are full, 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 it'll tell us, man, a lot of people are really needing this, and then we might expand out to a third day. Uh, on the other hand, this is a social aspect, so if I have one or two people on, on the one day and one or two people, that's not much of a group, we'll, we'll collapse those down. So I really intend to um, respond to uh, what my students want, looking at the numbers of who's attending and who's showing up. So real quick to give you the times of the classes, let me pull this up over here. All right, the youth group lesson will begin at 5.15, and that is going to be a 50-minute uh, class. So that'll go till 6.05, 5.15 to 6.05, pretty similar to our time that we had before COVID. And then our adult class will start at 6.20, and we'll go to 7.20. I see a few of you are already pre-registered, uh, and I'm excited to have you. So if you have any questions, uh, please give me a call. We're also, we're not uh, going out and, and really promoting or advertising this. This is specifically for our students who are already members who, are, who have reached out to me and said, my family, my child, I um, need socialization. We need to have this social contact. Um, and so that'll be available for you. So I really hope to see as many of you as are comfortable here. Um, remember, if you're not comfortable, you can continue to do the private lessons and Please remember to be flexible as we move forward. Um, we're trying to navigate through um, basically unprecedented times in dealing with what's going on. Um, so thank you very much. If you have any questions, I'd love to hear from you guys. Uh, if you guys like this idea, um, get a hold of me and let, let me know. All right, thank you. Bye-bye.